Married right out of college and basically clueless, this young couple started on a personal quest to strengthen their own marriage. What they learned drove them on a mission to fight, to build marriages around the world. Now, 29 years later, the parents of four children, Jim is a certified marriage intensive coach. Teresa holds a master's in marriage and family therapy. She is a licensed professional counselor, and together they are the co-founders of Family Matters First. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to build a mighty marriage, a fantastic family, and become a prepared parent by listening to this podcast daily. And now, your hosts, Jim and Teresa Adams. Hi, my name's Jim Adams. This is my wife, Teresa. Of the last 29 years, we're with FamilyMattersFirst.org. You can find us at FamilyMattersFirst.org. And we're walking through a series of vignettes talking about top 12 questions couples should ask before getting married. Right. Okay, and we've promised, Teresa, at least ourselves, that we're not going to go over like about five minutes with each of these. So I'm going to start my timer to see that we can okay. keep, if we can make this happen. Yeah. Okay, so the question for th today that we're on is... Um, Again, so you guys are dating, you're all excited, you're about to get married. These are some things you should be talking about. So question number one we talked in last time was about what are our expectations. Mm -hmm. Okay, this time we're going to talk about what did you see growing up as it relates to marriage? Right. Now, why it, is that important? It's, it's very important because what you saw growing up might not be the best thing for you to do as a couple. But it kind of sets the stage for your expectations. For example, uh, my mom always did this. My dad never did that. Mm -hmm. And so since that's what you saw growing up, that's what you think is going to happen. Now, again, here's the thing. I didn't grow up with you. I didn't grow up with Teresa. Right. So Teresa's expecting my dad always did this. Right. So my husband's going to do it. Yes. What else do you think? I mean, that's the association you make. I don't know what your dad did, though. Exactly. And that's so, why it's very important that we talk. That's why we're talking about, talking about it. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what, you, what you saw growing up is very important that you discuss it. So... What are, what are, let's talk about some things like your dad was kind of a, uh, I guess, a, a fixer. Or what about this? Your dad always spanked the children or disciplined the children. Right. Okay, and obviously the the right thing is there isn't a designator, designated child punisher. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so, mm -hmm. so that that's kind of a... That, that's one example of something that you could see growing up. Uh, what's some other things? Help me think. Uh, uh, who's the spender? Who's not? Good, good you know, point, good point. Um, who's a you know somebody might be a hoarder or somebody might be a spender, and usually that is one of the other of the uh, couple. And so you start taking on these personalities because you think that's the norm because that's what you saw with your family growing up, right? Right. Every Saturday you you went to the let's say where grocery store or mall mall or in our case like went into town because we live like way out in the country. country. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so the, these these our viewers today would understand that everybody's like urbanized now. Um, <laughs> but uh, but the whole idea is that when you guys are dating or courting, as we like to talk about. It's important that you are discussing and sharing your history with each other. Yes. It's important that Teresa is communicating to me. You know, as a child, I saw my parents do this, or I didn't see my Okay, here's a great example. Um, hey, I never saw my parents uh, display affection mm -hmm. in front of us. So, therefore, we walk into a marriage... And since I never saw that, I'm just, this is hypothetically speaking. Okay. And since, and since I never saw that, I've just become convinced that the way for me to act is to never show affection in front of our children to Teresa, with mm -hmm. Teresa. Because that's what I saw growing up, but that's, that's not right at all. I mean, that, that, that's not a good example. Oh, absolutely not. The children need to see you, that affection. So the thing we're trying to communicate in this second video is in terms of the top 12 questions couples should ask before getting married. Mm -hmm. Asking each other, what did you see growing up in your family? And, it, and, and then deciding, how do we want ours, uh, our exactly. relationship or our family to be? Deciding, because like I say, it's two different ones. So you bring it, put one, pull and uh, tug and get your, as you, your family. So maybe <laughs> what you saw growing up is an example of exactly what you should not do. Maybe what you saw growing up is what you should do. Chances are somewhere in between. Yeah. So just a question. I want you guys that are dating, not married, or even if you are married, you know, uh, preferably you would have had this discussion before you got married. But even if you are, let's dig into each other's past a little bit. 
tell me a little bit about your family life at home. Here's another good one I just thought of. Hey, family A, we never ate meals together. It's strange to eat meals together. So I get married and I go in the bedroom to eat my meal and Teresa's like, hey, why aren't we gonna eat together? Well, you know, especially as, as children come into the equation. So now we've got three children, four children, or whatever, and we, we are not eating meals together. This is so crucial, but because I didn't see that growing up, I don't know any better. Right, right. It's nothing wrong with being ignorant we're all ignorant about something, and ignorance just means you don't know. But it is dangerous to remain ignorant. Exactly. So we're going to make sure that you're constantly growing and learning. Absolutely. Okay. We're almost out of time for this vignette. Yes. We're going to come back and go to question number three in our next episode. Thanks so much. Thanks for listening to another session of the Family Matters First podcast at www.familymattersfirst.org. Stay encouraged and join with us in the fight to build righteous relationships, mighty marriages, fantastic families, and prepared parents everywhere. Invite Christ into your life. That relationship will make all the difference in all your relationships.